No! Why would you do this to me, game? I wasn't aware I was getting into a boss fight. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Resident Evil. Why am I injured? Okay, I don't remember why I'm injured. So, in the last episode... Whoops, gotta turn that on a little bit. I don't think... I'm pretty sure I edited it out in the recording, but... I actually died. No, wait, I think I... Yeah, no, I did include that part. But... I edited out the part where I went back and got everything. I completely skipped the, uh... The, uh... I, I don't know what the name is, but where the red book is, I completely skipped that area. Entirely. So I have not explored it at all. Uh, yeah, we were going down here to the Arco Ring. Come on, Jill. Keep walking. We were so close to getting out of there without taking any damage. That's so upsetting. So we died here last time, but going through the footage, I realized the game actually told me what I needed to do. <laughs> so. Should I pick this up? I got the inventory room, I guess. Still have no idea what I need to do with this thing. Like, <laughs> am I sure I can't open it? Do I... Oh, I have to click the top? What? I... I've tried that, I swear I have. Okay, well, I figured out how to open them now. Oh, there's nothing. Okay, so it showed me this in some area. Was this what? It... I guess. Let's go ahead and. Press the button and get some going. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Okay, so it showed me the three things I need to do. Here. Yeah. Uh, a lever. I don't know what that lever it showed me was. Yeah. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. So oil, then release the safety. Uh oh. It was valve 2, right? Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Activate emergency draining system immediately. Okay, apparently it was one I thought it was, but... Oh, that's right, I gotta... Okay, we did it. So... We still gotta do something, right? I don't know what that something is, but... Yes.
Oh, that's been completely drained. Hell yeah, the shocks are gone. Okay, so I guess we can go through this door now. Oops, I meant to open up the map. Oh, I didn't grab the aqua ring map. Let me go to do that. So we can go through that door, and this will lead me up here. Which okay, so I'll unlock a shortcut by going through here, down here. Uh, I guess let's continue exploring. Since we can go down here now. Still quite wet. I keep pressing that by accident. There's an item in here. Oh. Grenade shells, okay. Dynamite, so to be unused. That's unfortunate. I would love to blow some stuff up. Uh, let's get the shortcut first. Then we'll explore this room. What is that? Magnum ounce? Okay, I have to make a stop at the safe room now, because my inventory is full. There being a bar, so is it just a big scary room for the sake of being a big scary room? I mean, wants to just even load this or equip it just in case. I don't know. I am looking for an item. Hey, pal, you just uh, flop like a fish. There's some water there, so that guy could still definitely attack me. Can I even get close enough to... I can hit it, so... Okay, I can't anymore. I guess he's dead now. actually dead this time. This guy I'm a little more concerned about because he's still in water. Hit him, but it's not causing blood, so I'm guessing he's already dead. It's generally used for water control. I don't know. Water flow control doesn't have power. I, I guess I pull it. Only some way to drop it into the water. Oh, whoops. Um, pull it up. It's definitely dead now. Deep sixth. 
that's the name of the achievement. Okay, so there was no boss fight here. I did see a glowy item over here, though. Residence. Oh, there we go. I was right. This would give me the gallery key. So, yeah, now we go to the gallery, I guess. a large room. Okay, every door is locked, so there must be something in here I can do then. More bullets. Oh, what were those? They're bees! I hate bees! Oh, I have a... I, I think I know where the bees are coming from. This goes right to where the bee's nest is, I would assume. Ah, it's a lot of bees. It's too dangerous to go any further. Fair. Yes, this guy is something. Of course I will. I'm guessing I can't use it though. Oh, I need to use it on something. Hmm. What if I use it on the hole right where the bee's nest is? Yeah. I keep getting those buttons confused. Yeah, let's go. Oh, but I can't pick up this herb now. Oh, I can, but this key is more important. I'm assuming this will take me to one of these rooms. Number three. Okay, so I guess let's just see what these ones are locked with. Locked from the other side. So guessing. Oh, it's not a shortcut. I have to go... This goes either upstairs or downstairs. I'm guessing upstairs, but I can't get there, so... Maybe I have to unlock a... S maybe there's some kind of mechanism in one of these rooms, or... Maybe it's just, you know, after completing a certain part of the story, you'll unlock... Oh... Okay, okay, so this is the code. Uh. Uh, frick. What was it? I. There was a five in there. Uh, so. Three, five, six. There's not an item box in here. There's some... odd sounds. There's a puzzle in here, and I need a full inventory. No, an empty inventory. <laughs> My god. That is such a troll, oh my god, game. I don't even have enough to switch the books around or something. Damn 
Oh, it's... Okay, so it's... Oh, it's gonna be... It's gonna be the solution to the puzzle in the other room, I'm guessing. Organic Chemistry Lab Experiment. Similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned the chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains all compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We've given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. Calculations prove correct. When V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant will, should be dead within 5 seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They are known to be generate toxic gases if mishandled. So, don't mess up. Got it. The characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. UMB number 3, red, U a yellow 6 is yellow. So V Jolt needs to be a dark brown. So it's a color mixing puzzle then. I need to create dark brown. Also, I guess let's drop the. I. Uh, the. Oh, I I know what I'm supposed to make. Uh Okay, I don't think I'm doing this correctly. Okay, so that's how I get into there, I can... No! Why would you do this to me, game? I wasn't aware I was getting into a boss fight. Okay, okay, let's, let's... I'm not running the right way. New... Okay. I need to go... I think it's downstairs. Okay, how's my health? Uh, it doesn't poison you. Please let me open it. Please let... Okay. Okay. Uh... That was eventful. Don't go in there. Got it. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Acid. Empty bottle. So, I need to create... Dark brown. But I only have red and yellow? Maybe I'm not thinking of this correctly. What are these? UMB number three. No. Yellow six. Fill empty balls with water. Okay, so... So, I need to create dark brown from red and yellow, but apparently some of these, they have been known to generate toxic gas if mishandled. So, I need to be careful of some of them, even though I don't know which ones are actually dangerous. I just know that some of them are, are dangerous. 
potentially. <laughs> There's something written on the wall. 1 plus 3 equals 4. 4 plus 6 equals 6. 1 plus 6 equals 7. 10 plus... What? Thanks for the math lesson, I guess? Does that correlate to the puzzle? It must. I don't know why they would just put it there. Um... Okay. Okay, so mm, I guess maybe let's fill water. We might need water. Uh, so water will lighten the color, right? Okay, I'm just gonna see what happens if we mix it with like red. Please don't like kill me. <laughs> NP4. 4. Wait. 4. What if 1 is 1? Because this is 3, right? And if 1 is 1, then if I add water to that, it should give me NP5, right? Right? I did not mean to pick that up, whoops. Uh, let's get another thing of water. Fine. Okay, so NP5 is not a thing. But it didn't kill me, that's good. I guess let's get back to there. What if I make... Can I make seven? Well, if I take two reds and add them together, it should give me yellow, right? Let's just test that real quick. Theoretically, if this is correct, combining two reds should give me yellow, which doesn't make sense. But this is a video game, so... Okay, no. So they have to be different in order to do it. So I need to create... Assuming the math is, you know, a thing, part of the puzzle, I would need to combine it with something else to give me the number 6. Or yellow, but of course I could just grab it. So I'm trying to get to... What is it? Volt... What is Volt J, number-wise? I don't know what Volt J is number wise. It's oh no, it's twenty, right? Because it's numbered. Um, UMB number twenty, right? So I need to get to twenty while avoiding something that will kill me, even though I don't know what those are. So I'll just have to be careful, I guess. So the, what's the quickest way to get to twenty with three and four? Well, we can get to seven. Wait. Why am I saying 3 and 4? It's 6. 3 and 6 gives me 9. Um... I don't know if 9 is a thing. Uh, but if I go do 4 and then 6, it'll give me 10. Let's go with that. It, I'm hoping it's not like an insta-kill if it is poison. I hope it just like... Well, if it poisons me, I'm dead anyways, because I don't have any blue herbs on me. So, we want to combine the water, that, and combine that with UMB 10. Okay, so, what if we just combine two UMB 10s? That would give me 20, correct? Wait, no, I can't, because that'll just give me nothing. What am I thinking? It has to be two different chemicals. Um... And I only have two inventory slots, so... 
I mean, I could also just use this. Okay, I can't even use it on its own. So yeah, I'm stuck with it, unless I go all the way back to the save room. Okay, so... I can get to 13. Um... I don't know if that will give me anything, though. Or if it'll give me poison instead, I don't really know how to determine what is and isn't poisonous. So... I guess maybe this is actually just straight up the solution. Yeah, maybe this is literally a solution. Maybe I just need to follow these steps. And this will give me the answer. So I currently have 10, so I need to create 7 by adding 6 and 1, and then add those. Yeah, I think this is literally just the solution. Okay. So I need another yellow and a water. Uh, I think I have enough inventory space for this. And do 7, and then I combine those two, right? Yes, and then I add a red to it. Because this is three. Please don't murder me. Yes! Easy puzzle. Uh, can I get rid of these chairs? Okay, now that I have this, can I get rid of the chairs? Or can I, do I just have to go to the safe room and store them? <laughs> I have Vigil right, and that's what I need, because I need to put this onto that plant in that other room to kill it. So... I guess that's literally it. I guess let's go to the save room and grab stuff. Assuming it's not going to be that easy. It's not flooded in here anymore. Oh, I can actually walk into here? Okay. <laughs> I, I thought it would surely... Wow, that does work. Wow, easy boss fight skip. Easy boss fight skip. And there's nothing in here. So we just skipped a boss fight. Because the plant's now dead. This thing. Barry! Jill! Flamethrower? Just a quick question, buddy. I thought it was finished. Yeah. That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? What the hell's going on in this place? <laughs> 